Hello everybody, welcome back to Miss B's Plan B. It's lovely to see you. I hope that you're well. I'm going to start off by wishing you a very happy new year. I hope that it has got off to a good start despite the strange circumstances. It's a shame that we're not back at school, but I hope we have lots of fun together in these online learning sessions. So, as it is the start of a new year, I thought we could start by thinking about New Year's resolutions. You may have already set some, you or people in your family, um, but I want you to first of all think, why do people set New Year's resolutions? I'll give you a little bit of thinking time. Hmm. Why do they do that? Let's talk about it. So, people set New Year's resolutions often because they want to change something or improve something. Um, give up bad habits sometimes or start new habits that are good. So what I was thinking is wouldn't it be amazing with so many billions of people in the world if everybody made a new year's resolution that was linked to the environment. Think how much better the world would be as a result. So I'm going to be, give you a bit of thinking time again to think right so what new year's resolution could I think of that would have an impact positively on our environment. What could I actually do that would help our wonderful world? So I'll give you some thinking time again. Mm -hmm. Think, 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 think. Because mm. I guarantee, even if you already do lots of amazing things to help our planet, I guarantee there is always something else you could do. Might not be really obvious, but you might decide to have a look around your house, think about where there is any waste, um, could you change that? And that would help you come up with a resolution, All right? So what you might want to do here is just pause the video for a second and share some of your ideas with your family. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna talk about some possible New Year's resolutions you might like to do. So, first of all, one I have decided to do for myself is this one. Only buy what I need. And this is really useful for me because sometimes I've got a lot better, but sometimes when I go to the shops, I can get tempted by things, especially if they're on a really good deal. Um, it can make me think, oh, I better get that. But I, this year, am only going to buy the things on my list, okay, to make sure I don't buy anything I don't really need. So that's a really useful one for me. And what I'd like you to do, like I've done, is to whatever your resolution is, to write it down on a piece of paper. This one actually is an old Christmas card, and I've put it on the back of it to save paper. And I've made it really eye-catching, because I'm going to stick that later on my fridge, so everyone in my family can see it as well. And then by sharing it, that will help people support me with it. So next time I do go, and I'm tempted to buy something, they'll say, whoa, stop! Remember your New Year's resolution because I've shared it um, and that will help support me. So other things you might like to do, I'm going to give you just a few suggestions, but I'm sure you will think of loads of amazing ones yourself. You might decide something like, right, um, I'm going to change to a bamboo toothbrush. I'm going to see what that's like because think how many toothbrushes we get through each year and then multiply that by how many years we might be alive. We're talking quite a lot of plastic toothbrushes. So you might think, right, I'm gonna try a bamboo toothbrush and see if it works for me. You might think, actually, I really still prefer my electric one. And so you might think, right, every morning I'll use this, but at night time, I'll use my electric toothbrush. So you can do compromises. Other things you might do, you might think, right, I'm gonna make sure I always take my reusable water bottle with me so that I'm not tempted to buy drinks out. You might even think, actually, I buy a lot of packaged drinks, so drink a lot of maybe juices or cans of drink, and actually I'm going to stick more to water so that I reduce the amount of packaging that ends up in landfill or in recycling. You might think, oh, actually, I'm going to this year switch to having more showers instead of baths to save some water. You might even write to your local water company or order one of these. These are good fun, so you can get for free water timers to time how long in your, you're in the shower because they reckon the average person spends about eight minutes in the shower but these timers are four minute 
shower timers. So you'd actually use half the amount of water, which would be a good saving. Now, one thing I'd like you to do before you make your resolution, I am just going to go through a little checklist with you to help you. When you make a target, it's really useful that you think about this acronym, SMART, and you make your New Year's resolution a SMART one. I'm going to talk about what that actually means. So, the S in SMART stands for specific. When you're making your target, try and make sure that it is really specific. If you say something like, I'm going to help the world, that's brilliant, but it's very vague. What are you actually going to do? And if you don't make it specific, how will you know if you've achieved it? So that's really important when you're thinking of your target, make it specific. The next thing I want you to think about is measurable. How are you going to measure that you've actually achieved your target? How will you know if that has happened? Hmm. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to have a book where I write down my purchases this year. And all I should see in there, hopefully, is pretty much food. That's the only thing I will really be buying, food and, say, other, a few other essentials, maybe medicines. But that will be the main thing. And then anything else in there, I have to think, do I really need that or is it something I wanted? So by recording what I'm buying, that will be a useful check. Um, then we've got achievable. When you're writing your target, again, it's really important to make sure it is something that you can achieve. Okay, so you might have to do a small step. So for example, if you do want to do something that's going to change the world, okay, changing the world, yeah, I like to think we can all do it, but how? How are we going to make that achievable? Is it going to be something like writing to politicians? Okay, so what are the stepping stones to that change? So try and think about how you're going to make it achievable. Then it needs to be relevant. That's really important. When we're making these um, resolutions, think about, right, is it something, first of all, that's relevant to me? Is it something I really want to do? Or is someone else trying to get me to do it? Okay. If it's something you really want to do, it will be more powerful to you and you're more likely to succeed. So that's the first thing. Is it something you feel really passionate about that you want to make a difference? Also, it's important that it's relevant to the situation at the moment. Some things might not be possible at the moment because of COVID. So if you wanted to organise some sort of um, fundraising thing, that wouldn't be possible at the moment. But in the future, you could do that. So have a think about if what you're going to do for your resolution is relevant at the moment. And also, it needs to be time bound. Because if we just say, yep, yeah, I'm going to do it, and we don't say by when, then there's the danger that it might never happen we haven't put a time limit on it. So with New Year's resolutions, people normally say by the end of the year, but you might even think, actually, I think I can achieve that sooner. And then you might think, yeah, I really enjoyed making that difference. And you might even decide to go and set yourself another environmental New Year's resolution. So I hope that's inspired you to go off and make a difference to our wonderful world. And I look forward to hearing about how you're making some changes. So good luck and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Goodbye.